New this morning, you've likely seen these furry critters around your house or at work. I know I've seen mm -hmm. them here at News 6, mm -hmm. no doubt about that. They're called tussock moth caterpillars, and they can give you a rash if you touch them. Uh-oh, News 6's Stephanie Rodriguez is live in Oviedo, where many local parks are covered in them. Stephanie, the city is sending a message to residents about the caterpillars. Yeah, they want everyone to be aware that they are out in full force right now. They're all over here at Riverside Park. This is the skate park specifically. There's a lot of them here, and they have hairs all over their body that can irritate your skin. The city of Oviedo wants people to be cautious of tussock moth caterpillars. While they don't sting, they can inflame your skin if you touch them. We're asking people to just be mindful of them. Uh, you know, parents, visitors, if you bring your kids to your parks and you see one, don't play with it. They feel like fiberglass on your fingertips if you touch them. The Florida natives come out this time of year. They cover trees and structures, finding a place to make their cocoons. So caterpillars are an incredibly important piece of our ecosystem. They're food for all sorts of creatures. Insect experts like Adam Dale say if you need to move them, use gloves or an object like a credit card to avoid contact. They have little spines on them and they can break off into your skin and that causes the, the primary skin irritation. Uh, but they do look like little little brushes on the along their back. But those are the ones you don't want to come into contact with. In addition to some of the really long ones that they have sticking off the tips of their body. If you do come into contact with one, remove any hairs with tape, wash the area with soap and water, and apply ice or a baking soda and water paste to soothe the skin. So yeah, guys, even their cocoons have those little hairs on them and they can cause the same effect. They are starting to cocoon now. We're seeing them all over here. As we said, we saw some at the station as well. So if you're looking to get rid of the cocoons, you need to maybe use a broom and don't touch them directly. Reporting live in Oviedo, Stephanie Rodriguez getting results news six. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, those things are... They're uh, everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah, it's hard to avoid them here, and mm -hmm. you just don't want to touch them. Obviously, you got the information right there. I know that you see them all the time, Ken. Oh, yeah, especially I know those oak trees. Yeah. I know our the preschool that the girls went to, it just, like, they had to put big signs, like, in, you know... Don't touch Don't them. touch these. Because all the kids are like, ooh. Because they look fuzzy, mm -hmm. and they look yeah. interesting, but they, they, do. they do hurt. I feel like we have three big bug season. We have like the mosquito season, we have love bug season, mm -hmm. and then we have the fuzzy caterpillar Angie season. Angie Casada yeah. says they're aliens. They do, they look like little aliens. Yeah, yeah. They, they came from outer space. Yeah, but they <laughs> hurt, they hurt, they hurt, they hurt, so stay away from them. All right.